QuantumScape's progress is impressive and it will have a ready buyer when its technology is developed. Friends, QuantumScape claims to have met its internal milestones for 2021. Toyota, Solid Power, and several other companies are working on solid state battery technology. Solid state batteries can boost the ongoing transition towards electric vehicles. Today, The Motley Fool has published an interesting story discussing if QuantumScape will recover in 2022. What should we expect despite the progress that is impressive and QuantumScape having a ready-to-go buyer when its technology is developed? Let's take a look at that together. This is Armin Harayan from TalkNews.com. Welcome everyone. Please subscribe to our channel for breaking electric vehicle and battery news including Tesla and others. And please give us thumbs up if you find this report informative. So the Motley Pool says that a shift from the internal combustion engine to electric vehicles is undisputed. Governments, legacy car companies, and new electric vehicle makers are spending billions of dollars to bring about this change. Batteries that power electric vehicles have a major role in the transition to electric vehicles. QuantumScape is working on the next generation batteries that could step up the ongoing shift to electric vehicles. Now, the stock is down 72% in 2021, but there is more to the story. Now, why QuantumScape stock fell in 2021? Let's take a look at that together. QuantumScape's product is still in the development stage. We're talking about solid state battery, which is still in development stage. As an early stage company, QuantumScape's stock price is volatile. The stock's fall this year has no strong reason, just like its spectacular rise last year was mostly without reason, concludes the Motley Fool's um, author. QuantumScape, which got listed on November 27, 2020, rose, look at this, 283% by the end of 2020. The stock's fall in the beginning of 2021 was largely a correction of that rise. And the stock, QuantumScape, is now trading close to its price at the time of IPO. Now, QuantumScape's progress so far has been very impressive. QuantumScape is working on the so-called solid-state battery technology that, if successful, can make batteries more energy-dense, that can significantly improve an EV's range, electric vehicle's range, while reducing the battery costs and the electric vehicle's costs in general. Tesla may benefit from this greatly one day. I don't know. Notably, despite years of research, no company has yet been successful in commercializing solid-state batteries. In a moment, I will tell you why. Look at this. QuantumScape has set developmental milestones for the commercial launch of batteries in 2021. The company recently announced that it had met all its internal milestones for the entire 2021. This includes testing of a 10-layer battery cell under predefined test conditions. Further, QuantumScape has secured a facility for its battery manufacturing in San Jose. Now, some of you may be wondering, like I did in the beginning, how many layers a battery needs for uh, being commercially viable for an electric vehicle. So how many layers of battery a, uh, a electric vehicle needs? While QuantumScape is preparing its manufacturing facility, significant work remains on the technology development front. Like I said, significant work still is ahead for QuantumScape. To begin with, QuantumScape has tested only 10 layer cells, but batteries for use in electric vehicles may require several dozen such layers. Some of you, if in, in case you don't know, each dozen is 12. So several times 12 layers are still needed. Perhaps Motley Fool says going above 100 layers. So if QuantumScape is right now as is doing around 10 layers, we probably need 10 times more time, more research and development in the technology front. The company still needs to develop and test these layers in order to make the electric car batteries successful. At the same time, the company needs to improve the separator and cathode material used 
in its solid state battery cells. QuantumScape hopes to produce sample battery cells for electric cars for use in test cars in 2022. Basically, two years remains for this, and it may be very much possible. There are still several unknowns before QuantumScape success, uh, succeeds. Now, the, com, cons, consider this, friends. The competition for QuantumScape's solid-state battery research is also heating up. Who are the competitors? Though QuantumScape's progress, like I just said, looks very impressive, it is not alone in its efforts, which is a good thing, which is good thing for people who buy electric cars, which is good thing for our society because competition is good and will bring um, prices down and will foster more electric vehicle battery development. We will have more batteries with better ranges and lower costs. So who are these competitors of QuantumScape solid state electric vehicle battery research? Toyota has more than 1000 patents relating to solid state batteries. The company hopes to launch its first car using solid state batteries by 2025. In fact, if you remember at Torque News Channel, I reported news about a month ago where Toyota in Japan showed a test vehicle which was running on Toyota's test truck and on that vehicle it was written solid state battery. That me giving us a hint, Toyota didn't elaborate that, but gave us a hint. It was on Toyota's YouTube channel and we also published on our YouTube channel that Toyota is already testing vehicles with solid state batteries. And considering what Toyota announced yesterday, a sweeping plan for its electrification, upgrading its electrification much more, it may be that Toyota will have solid state batteries way before 2025. Now, next competitor to QuantumScape is Solid Power, which is another company working on solid state batteries. If I'm not mistaken, Solid Power just signed an agreement with uh, Daimler. Uh, to uh, power its electric vehicle batteries. The company, Solid Power, went public on December 9th and has the backing of Ford and BMW. Other companies working on solid state batteries include Hyundai and Samsung. Now, QuantumScape is backed by Volkswagen, which has invested $300 million in the company so far to develop its solid state batteries for electric vehicles. The two companies, QuantumScape and Volkswagen, have formed a joint venture for a commercial production capacity of 21 gigawatt hours per year. Volkswagen also continues to validate QuantumScape's progress in cell development. Therefore, QuantumScape will have a ready buyer once its technology is developed. This is a major important point for a battery developer, or for, for a company, or for any uh, for Qu QuantumScape's research. Everybody is motivated because they know that once they reach to that 100 layers, if that many layers are necessary to build a solid state battery for electric vehicle test, QuantumScape will have a ready buyer once its technology is developed and that's Volkswagen. Additionally, QuantumScape recently entered an agreement with a top 10 automaker by revenue for 10 megawatt hours of batteries. Now, we don't know which that top 10 automaker is, but that's the Motley Fool says. Additionally, QuantumScape recently entered an agreement with a top 10 car maker by revenue for 10 megawatt hours of batteries. So far, very impressive, right? Now, for those of you who are investing or who are investors who are in stock market, which I am not, is QuantumScape a buy? Before I go any further, I just wanted to let you know that I am not a stockholder. I do not have position on QuantumScape, neither Tesla, as I've said many uh, times before my in my previous reports, and I'm not in the stock market at all. I just try to impartially report the news. So the Motley Fool says, what does all the above mean for QuantumScape stock? What does all that I just said mean for QuantumScape stock? With the backing of two top car makers, QuantumScape's efforts in solid state batteries look credible. If QuantumScape commercializes solid state batteries before its competition, its stock will see exceptional gain. Even if QuantumScape isn't the first company to commercialize solid-state batteries, 
it could be well placed to grow due to the strong expected demand for these cells. Like I said, expected demand. As the company progresses further on its plans, its stock price should recover says the monthly fool. The stock is trading 72% below its high price this year, offering an attractive entry point for long-term investors. Notably, QuantumScape stock entails, look at this, significant risks and is suitable only for investors with a high appetite for risk. Let me repeat that one more time because that's an important point. I'm not in the stock market. I'm not saying go buy QuantumScape. The Motley Fool says QuantumScape stock entails significant risks and is suitable only for investors with a high appetite for risk. Friends, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle, Tesla, battery, QuantumScape news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Give us thumbs up if you found this report helpful. And let me know your thoughts on QuantumScape, on solid state batteries in the comment section below, on the future of electric vehicles, and what do you think about all of this. This is Armin Haryan. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. Thank you for remaining with us and watching. And have a wonderful rest of the day, wherever you may be. See you soon in our next report.